Please support the Filipino art in all its colors. There's beautiful instructors. Pick one that fits your, your soul, and then follow it, because it will take you to the right place, I guarantee you. Well, I, I started with Yamaguchi, Catman Yamaguchi, because my brother is a uh, seventh degree professor in uh, Gojo Kai, and I've met him and trained with him when I was a young man, around 14, 12, 12 to 14 years old. I was into the karate aspect, and I didn't even know Filipinos had a martial arts. I didn't know till my late 20s, to be truthful. Then I realized, oh, God, there's, these guys are dangerous, <laughs> you know, this is nasty, they're using weapons, you know, and I fell in love with it after I, I met this person and uh, he was teaching martial arts and he said, fight me, hit me, attack me, here, here's this club, hit me, and then all of a sudden I found myself on the ground and I'm going, what the hell was that? After that I fell in love with the art. I, and I studied Filipino martial arts for around eight years straight, average 16 hours a day. Did it. That was my life. Wow, there's a lot of differences, many styles in the Filipino martial arts. Some like to take out the hand, some just like to lock, some like to grab the stick, some like to just take out the head. So, you know, so many varieties, so I go, wow, I'd like to see a system that has it all. And so from that point, around 18, 20 years ago, I started combining all the arts, learning from Serrata to Ernesto, uh, learning the Kali from Danny and Los Santos, and his system that was taught to me by somebody else. And uh, I started putting the Jiu-Jitsu, the Aikido, the Thai boxing, and putting it all together into one system, and I finally came up with the SCABO, which is an acronym, actually, for E is for Screma, uh, S is for Serrata, A is for Aikido or Arnis, modern Arnis, uh, K is for Kali, B is for boxing, and the O came from Jeet Kune Do. And as the years progressed, it just kept on adding it to my system. So to graduate for me, it's going to take you four to five years, you know, to get the information. And it's a complete system. That's the beautiful thing of the Filipino art that I've created is I give you options. Okay, so for the time being, Mark is going to go one, two. Okay, so it's, it's kind of an introduction to the spotty dog, so to speak. You happen to have like a brother or anything like that. I think I might be one of the only ones, maybe another one, to go from underground to mainstream. But again, I've been very fortunate because all I used to do before I went mainstream is throw seminars. So finally when I got laid off my job, uh, being six, uh, I was 59 when I got laid off. And to be 59 and to try to find a job in this economy was like, forget it, man. You know, I, I, I ended up getting a job, a security guard for high school, but then when the economy hit, they laid me off, because, you know, and I said, do I want to do this? I have schools in Oregon, I have schools in Philadelphia, I have students in Texas, I have a school in New York, I'm, you know, I got all this, I got students everywhere. So my wife goes, you know what, you got all these students opening schools everywhere, why don't you open the school? You know, it's really scary to go out there commercial, especially with the Filipino martial arts, which is, which is you've got every school, karate school, jujitsu, aikido. These are all mainstream names, you know, but you mentioned, you know, Escabo, you mentioned Cinco Terra, Siskrima. They don't have no idea what that is. So one of the difficulties is trying to bring students into the art. That's why we, that's why you see all our stuff on the internet, because this is the only way we can communicate to people, because people are curious about Filipino martial arts. The more you put it out, the more they get curious. So you have to have something viable, something that people want to join. And uh, through the studies that I've learned, I, I put more, uh, Scabo more on artistic form of martial arts, but yet it's, it's very earthy and very street oriented. The other difficult thing is once a student becomes a student of another art, it's very hard for them to come to another art. It's very difficult because loyalty and 
friendship have to play with it, you know. You should never take anybody's students anyway. It's not right, you know. So we focus more on other arts and other students. Like I said, we do a lot of community work. And we're getting teenagers. You know, we go and help them do their their after school programs. What's this is here? And then you shoot in. This, your left hand, I can tap it down to shoot in. So the reason why is if I go in like this, this will fall through. It's faster to mold guys that are experienced, though, I have to tell you. But the problem with that is they have to empty their cup. And that's the hard part about it. But once I have a student from another system that empties their cup, they learn so fast. And I tell them, hey man, you keep what you have. Keep what you learned. I'm not telling you throw it away. Just add this to what you learned. You know? But while you're here, you have to do what we do. When you're on your own, you know, once you learn our system, then you could do what you want. I got no problem with that. I got no problem with anybody studying with anybody. The new students that I'm getting now have no background, and uh, which is really good. The funny thing about it is I'm attracting a lot of musicians. I get a lot of musicians, which is really nice because they all know rhythm already. And Filipino art is based on rhythm. Everything, the whole art is based on rhythm and dancing. So they pick up even quicker. But I am getting a lot of instructors from other systems coming in. And I'm not saying that we're better than their system. It's just that we have more for them to learn. It's just not one form of stick fighting. We have so many forms that they're limited to a certain degree. My system is unlimited. There's no limit. Whatever you can apply, we will use. It's, you know, very similar to Bruce Lee's concept. Bruce Lee was more a philosopher. I'm more spiritual. There's many instructors out there, beautiful instructors, the nicest people you ever want to know. Pick the one that fits you. Pick the one that gives you the inside spirit, not just the physical, outside spirit. Well, spiritual is how you conduct yourself, so it has nothing to do with martial arts. Before you do martial arts, you're a person, right? So you have to do things as a person that's spiritual. You have to do the right thing as a person. And if you do that as a martial artist, everything will open up too because you're, you're learning how to open yourself up. You're opening up your chakras. You know, through martial arts opens your chakras. It teaches you your chi. It teaches you your left side of your body. Not only your right side, because everybody works on the right side. It teaches you the art part, which is very spiritual because everything you get from art is what? Passion. Where does passion come from? The soul. Where is the soul? The spirit. I, from the beginning I said martial arts is personal. If you're not a good person, how are you going to teach somebody to be good? You can't. There is no way. Unless you're a liar, a hell of a good liar, a good con artist. Being at the, losing everything in my life several times taught me that material things don't matter. What really matters is in here first. And if you do this right first, everything material will come. With your feet, yeah. See how, how you have a tough right there? Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to do that if you're right in the because now you're FMA is going to grow if they would stop arguing and stop knocking everybody on the internet. You know? saying this guy's better than this guy, oh, this guy should have studied with him, oh, he didn't put his name on there, oh, he didn't do this, oh, his knife techniques, oh, he... bull crap. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Accept the fact that Filipino martial is Filipino martial arts, and it's all good. It's all good. You know, well, you should be Filipino if you're going to teach Filipino martial arts. Bullshit. You know, if this guy is black, white, Indian, Alaska, it doesn't matter. If he loves the art and he's teaching it in the proper way, more power to him. I don't like people saying anything negative about anybody in the martial arts. It's just not good for the FMA. It's just not good for anything but negativity. And anger is not good, period. So, you know, so all these people that bicker and talk, they're all just showing how 
ununited the Filipino martial arts is, and that's got to stop. You know, bickering's got to stop. You don't make it negative to anybody, you know. Make it positive. You don't hear that about Aikido. You don't hear ju Judo doing that to each other. You know, my style is better than your style. No, they're all great. They're all great. They're all beautiful. Yeah, this side. I can take it here, right here. Hook here, down here. Lock up. Take them. The Filipino art's the most flowing art out there. There's only a couple of other arts that are that combative and yet flow that well. Because you never know how many people you're going to fight. You can't be stagnant and fight one person and stop. The next one's coming. There is no stop. And that's what's the beautiful thing about the Filipino art. It flows and it's so fast. It's such a fast-paced system that uh, it scares people. It really does because it, does, it plays it with time. Like I have told my students, everybody has power, everybody has speed, everybody has a certain amount of precision. But power without precision is no good. Speed without precision, no good. So all these things have to come into play in the Filipino art. You can go in the ring and you think you're a badass, but if you don't have techniques, you're never going to win. And techniques have to become muscle memory which is part of the flow, which is very crucial in flowing. Because <laughs> you're not thinking anymore. You're just reacting to what you were taught, what, through technique. So technique is the essence to combat. I don't care what anybody tells you. You're gonna get in a fight, you don't know how to block, you're screwed. We do it all, and that's the whole complete system of this battle. I thank you for our demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. Please support the Filipino art in all its colors. We're located in San Francisco, California, 1475 Polk Street on the second floor. And we're across the street from a famous restaurant called the Crustaceans. And they make the best crab. But we do, we teach really nice screma across. So we entertain them because they're sitting here and we're over here. So all the people that are eating dinner they get to watch us while we train, and they all come by and go, God, you guys are entertaining while we ate dinner. It's really fun. <laughs> My name is Grandmaster Robert Castro. I'm in San Francisco, California. My school is on 1475 Polk Street. Please come and visit. And I thank FMA Pulse for having me. They're the best. Manami salamat.